Thank you, Ken. It will be a long recovery ahead for a woman who was beaten into a coma with a fire extinguisher in a downtown Dallas parking garage. Jonah King was leaving work when she was attacked early Saturday morning. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers spoke to her family and joins us live from downtown Dallas with the story. Brooke? Well, Gilma, this is the parking lot that she walked into with a colleague after work. The colleague actually went to check on her, and she was fine until a man walked up to her with a fire extinguisher. Jonna King, a 27-year-old wife and mother, was left unconscious on the pavement after a man beat her with a fire extinguisher and stole her car, purse, and cell phone. That man, police say, is 25-year-old David Kadena. He apparently sprayed the foam or the, the powder of the, of the fire extinguisher into her car, startled her, and then pulled her out of the car violently. Police say Kadena didn't make it far. He crashed King's car on the upper level of the garage. First responders found a combative and heavily intoxicated man who was taken to Parkland Hospital for evaluation. King was so badly injured, she couldn't talk to police. She has her whole left side of her body, you can imagine, is, you know, from defending herself, was is, was completely, you know, bruised, beaten up. He says she spent four days in the intensive care unit, several of them in a coma. She was unable to see her nearly two-year-old daughter and will be out of work indefinitely. But the community and beyond rallied in support. They want everyone to know how thankful they are to people they know and people they don't know. They're just blown away that people are actually donating that they don't even know. It makes me a little emotional. Now their focus is on healing and on justice. Kadena, despite a previous conviction for aggravated assault, bonded out of the Dallas County Jail. His bail was set at $20,000. He's free right now on the streets. Who is he going to who's he going to hurt? He's going to kill. And Adina has been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, but investigators have told the family that those charges could be upgraded. Live in Dallas, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News. Brooke, thank you. Let's go ahead and get back.